In this video we are going to be cloning our system drive or C drive, depends what you want to call it, where Windows is. I'm going to try and clone it using this piece of software. Now they do do a free version which I've already done a review on and it will clone a hard drive but it will not clone your system drive. It will only clone a hard drive. So if you've got more than one hard drive in there it will clone that. It just won't clone your actual system drive. You need the paid version. So I have the paid version. And it didn't cost me anything. They actually sent me a key. So thank you very much for that. And we're going to see how easy it is. It should be quite easy. How easy it is to do. And uh, then I'm going to stick it into another PC. And see if it actually works. So fingers crossed it should work. So with that let's get on with it shall we. So first things first, you obviously you need the software and I will stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out or download the free version. Uh, I'm going to quickly go through the menu. So we have home, we have the backup systems, we can do backup, we can do syncing, we can do restore, we can do cloning, the bit we're going to do, and then we can go to tools. Now, you may think, oh, it's only that bit there, but you can actually just scroll down. There's a lot more to go into on that. But we're only interested in cloning our system drive. So I'm not going to use this one. This will do the same job. It will clone your system drive, but it won't clone all of it. It will only clone the system. I want to clone everything that's on that drive. So we're not going to be using that one. We are going to be using this one, and hopefully she works. So my C drive, or my Windows drive, is actually down here, disk 5. And I am going to clone it to this one up here, disk 0. I know, it's a bit weird, isn't it? But there you go. Right, so with that, so you highlight it, click on Next, and then select the destination drive. Now this is very important, when you're doing this, make sure you get it around the right way because you don't want to delete drives or C drives or any other drive that's got information on it that you need because it will delete it. So I've made sure that this one is clear, there's nothing on it whatsoever, I've already deleted everything, formatted it, job done and it's raring to go. So highlight that, destination disk, click on next and it says operation summary, indicate the operations that will be executed. So source is disk 5, like I said, mine's on disk 5. I am going to swap it around put it in, into disk 0 eventually. And destination is disk 0. So I'm going to be taking that one out and swapping it over with the other one, if that makes sense. Uh, start clone. Now this may take a while, so I will skip this bit because I'm not sure how long it will take. It may take 10 minutes, it may take a couple of hours, I don't know. But we will see. Oh, it's just opened up the folder. Let me just quickly show you. It's just opened that up on my other screen. I don't know why, but it has. I'm not going to interfere with it. I'm just going to leave it alone. So it says it's done 19%, but I would imagine it will probably slow down. But you never know. Actually, I'm going to close that folder it just opened up. I don't know why it opened it up, but it did. So I'm going to shut up now, and we're going to see how long it takes. Later. I don't know how long it took to actually finish because I wasn't here when it finished, so I don't know. It could have took an hour, it could have took two hours, but I wasn't here. I would imagine it was probably about an hour or so for it to actually finish. So that is the actual copy, this one here. Yeah, That is the, the new drive that it's all copied onto. We will put it into a PC just to make sure it actually works onto a different PC, like I said earlier. And it's come up with this message here which is says, the current operation has been completed. Job done, so that is it. And this is the original drive, so it's an exact copy, I've double checked it, and it is exact copy of that, as it is. Now then, what I'm gonna find out is, while we're here, is Disk Manager, to see if it's exactly the same size, or usage is the same size, so don't forget, C drive is down here, and this is the one we copied it to. And it's done it in the partitions as to that. So we've got five partitions up there, and we have five partitions down there. 
So it has literally copied it from A to B. And that's what you want. Like I said, I don't know how long it took, but it's all there. Looking at that. So now, let's stick it in the PC and see what happens, shall we? Right, it works. Yeah, perfect. Although it did do some updates, and the reason for the updates is, although it's going from an Intel to an Intel, it's a different motherboard, so it needed different drivers for that, different graphics card, again, different RAM, and a different sort of setup, but it basically works, and we're gonna go through, well, I'm gonna actually show you it actually working right now. So at the moment, I'm on computer number one, which is that one over there which is button number one over here. Number two is that one over there behind the camera, which is my main one. And it has basically the same as what's on now. Turn the screen save off. But obviously if you've downloaded any other software, which I have, I've downloaded a couple of other bits as I've been going along. Like I've got World of Warships on there now, things like that. And number three, which is under the desk at the moment, is on number three. That is an exact copy from that one over there. What's that come up with now? Right, it says about installing some other drivers. Now, just to prove the point, my Stream Deck, this baby here, if I press Streamlabs OBS, it should load up on this screen here. Give it a few seconds. It is a little bit slower because it's still settling down and it's probably doing some updates in the background somewhere along the line. There you go. That is my Streamlabs OBS loading up right now. Now some of my software will not work because they're linked to other hard drives. So say for instance, in my main computer, I had say two hard drives. I had a C drive and a secondary drive and I put all my software on the secondary drive. If you cloned both drives and then put them two drives in the same or into another computer, it should, in theory, just work. But like I said, it will do some sort of update to convert it over to the hardware that's on that drive or on that computer. So yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up. Easy to use, I don't know how long it took. I'm guessing maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half for it to actually do. But again, that depends on how big your hard drive is, how fast it reads, right, and things like that. You need to take all that into consideration, but yeah. That works. I'm gonna quickly show you what doesn't work because there are a couple of bits that don't work and one being my sound effects. My sound effects do not work because they're on a second hard drive on that computer over there. So I need to clone that one as well and then put another hard drive in that one. I took the main C drive that was already in that one. I took that out and it's actually sitting on my desk right now. This little baby here. So I've removed that. Yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up for how easy it is to do and the fact that it actually works. It's quite impressive, actually, especially with Windows. Windows just does some updates. It does, obviously, it's done some for itself as well. And uh, away you go. Let me know in the comments what you think. Something before, before we go, something you should bear in mind that if you do a lot of work, this might not be the best option for you to use because although it clones and I've had touch wood, no issues with it whatsoever, you never know if it's going to cause you an issue later on down the road. 
I cloned that computer uh, uh, a few weeks ago now, and yeah, it's been fine. I cloned it and I stuck it on that one, and like I said, I've had no issues. The only issues I have with some of the software, because it's on the second hard drive, it gets sort of lost. Well, this, this shortcut isn't working. Well, no, it won't do. It's on a different hard drive for a start. But it goes to prove you can clone from a C drive on one computer and clone it and put it onto another computer. It can even be a different platform. Say, for instance, you're going from Intel to AMD or vice versa. It should just work. But like I said, you might be a bit cautious and do it. If you're going to do something like that, make sure you spend a bit of time with it just to make sure you're happy with it before you decide, oh, I'm going to start using this one all the time now. Just in case you get any issue, but like I said, I've had no issues with it whatsoever. So with that, let me know in the comments what you think. Be interested to find out if other people have done this or thinking about doing this. Don't forget, this is the paid version, not the free version. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.